film okay today we are in the most random place ever it's called Gila Bend which is southwest of Phoenix Danny and I were on the way to San Diego we rode by this strip city and uh, it, it is very uh, downtrodden but it has a ton of cool architecture it's really based around space and UFOs like a lot of stuff in Arizona is uh, we were in Sedona yesterday and I pulled the most rookie move so this will make all of you feel Somewhat better about wherever you're at in your film photography journey for the second time ever in like what five years of shooting film We drove to Sedona. I shot in Sedona and then we went to Sunset Point this rest stop with an amazing overlook at sunset and I thought I shot a roll of film uh, It was an imaginary roll of film. There was no film in the camera and that happens. That's why you should always check to make sure the little rewind knob is actually moving each time you advance the shutter if that applies to the camera that you're using. So, good times. Uh, when I was at Sunset Point, I rushed through another roll once I realized I didn't shoot a roll. And then wanted to shoot some more, so we were like, hey, this is only an hour and a half away. Let's do that. So we're here now. I'm gonna shoot the Leica M5 with the 35 Summicron, 50 Summicron, and maybe at sunset, the 90 F2.8 Elmerith. Danny's gonna be shooting with the Nikon FE2 with the 35 millimeter F14 AIS lens. It's pretty hot. I think it's like 85 degrees right now. So we're gonna lather up with some sunscreen and burn through some rolls of Lomo 400. All right, guys, enjoy the episode. I wanna get this whole building in one frame with some of those palm trees and the 50 cuts it off right about here. So I'm only getting that much. 35 should give me everything else. All right, let's see if this works. to get a shot of the UFO over here, but <laughs> walking back to the car, I saw a great composition and I almost got into the car, but I was like, nope, I'm gonna grab the shot. And it's a very mundane, banal shot, but that's what I really love. The sun, as you can see, is right on my face. It's low in the sky. So it's fully bathing this building here. And I really love crazy harsh light with really contrasting shadows. And then I pull up those shadows, I overexpose, shoot it one or two stops over. Lomo 400, I'm shooting at about 200. But I love the shadow line on this building, but also how direct and harsh that sun is on the face. So when people say, don't shoot in harsh light, don't shoot between 10 and two, uh, they're lying to you. If you look at my Instagram feed, I think most of my shots are then because I'm too lazy to get up in the morning to shoot sunrise and I'm ready to drink in the evening. So I don't do sunsets. So I shoot film so I can shoot crap light, you know? Anyway, I just want to kind of give you an insight into why I stopped for some of these weird shots. It's all about the light and the composition. Is it framing itself? Uh, is there anything taking away from it? All right, guys, that's enough talking. Let's shoot it.
All right, so we parked in one spot just off of the main strip because there were several definitely key photographic locations. One, you saw the footage of the water tower. So that was, a, we saw it from the distance. We knew we had to stop there. But as we were pulling in, we saw the little park set. And then also this decrepit rundown uh, brick building that's been painted yellow. And then we'll hop over to another little spot, the bar, which is amazing little spot. We'll shoot that in a second. I wanna talk about the park bench set. At first, I wanted to frame it really wide with both of the trees, but in a lot of photos, I have found the ones that I dislike or the ones where I'm too far away. And I don't know who said this quote, but they said, if your photos aren't interesting, get closer. And I, I totally believe that. So that's exactly what I did with the park bench. But what we'll do is we'll shoot this brick building uh, probably back pretty far and maybe get a couple of detail shots and then go hit the bar. Still shooting Lomo 400, um, riding the 50 Sumacron right now. All right, guys. It's amazing how empty this place is. You can just walk in the middle of the street, take shots. I don't advise walking in the middle of the street, obey all laws, but ghost towns are cool. Who doesn't love a rundown market? I'm gonna burn a roll of film just on this guy. I love the signage. The sun is hitting it perfectly. Uh, the shade underneath will contrast nicely with that super bright face above the uh, overhang. Oh, this is perfect, guys. love how this tree is bent out and it kind of frames the house back. I hope it looks as good as it does in frame. There we go. I'm just getting a closer shot. So it's just peeking through the trees. So we'll have some foreground interest. Okay, so we're just, per usual, driving around randomly, taking a left turn, then a random right, and we ended up on the highway back into town, and there is this amazing little Birchfield Park. Lights hitting it perfectly, uh, lots of sh cool shadows. There's a pergola that's being lit with dropping shadows perfectly, a little concrete block building. So. I'm just going to take advantage of being here. The wind is out of control. We are getting sandblasted out here, but loving it. Loving the harsh light with film, guys. Don't let them tell you different. I'm telling you. Uh, all right, so I'm probably going to shoot three or four different compositions here, and I'm going to shoot at Lomo 400, shot at 200, probably F11, around a thousandth of a second. Let's burn up some film, guys. The old fire truck has Mac on it. How about that, guys? Ooh, I'm gonna get the basketball hoop in the background for a little added viewer pleasure. All right, now I'm gonna get one more close up of it. Get that detail shot. Portrait mode. Oh, I love the bulldog on the front. I'm gonna come in close. 
So on this building, it has a lot of openings that you can see all the way through. So what I've done is walked about 180 degrees around it to determine where can I isolate the building and hide as much of the junk behind it. So that's what I've done now. I'm gonna expose for the shadows on the side of the building.